Voice Kid, Asha, Joe Boy, Tempo. Keep these four names in your head because they are going to be very instrumental in this video right here. And now pay very close attention. So where do I begin? First of all, Voice Kid aside, I am very pissed at Asha. Very, very pissed at Asha. Why, you may ask? Asha is known for her contemporary type of music, not the conventional African type. You get me. If you look at one of her most popular songs, Jayla. I'm talking to you, Jayla. Good. Recently, in 2022, she decided to go the African way. Listen. She dropped a classic. And see, when I tell you classic, and see, believe me, classic. An album which was called V. V for what? You, you know what I said. <laughs> so now here's where the story gets interesting. Uh, stay with me. You guys, the general public, and everyone who agree with me that there was one particular song on that album that was like the best song. Well, to me, I, I don't know about you. And that song had a feature. And that feature was Whisked. Trust me, one of Whisked's best works in 2022. I don't care what anybody see. See, if you haven't heard it before, uh, see, take a listen. Every time I cool my temper, somebody won't enter. It's not so sick. This was the perfect. Ah! See, whiskey na boy, whiskey na boy. Now this is where everything goes south. Listen carefully. Good. Now on a faithful Saturday morning, I woke up, went to Spotify to look for my favorite song on Ashes album because why not? I was in the mood. Then guess what? Nothing. I was like, what was happening? How did the song disappear? When did it disappear? Nobody told me. Then I did intensive research, and that's how I came up with this four names. To a few, they might know the story behind this whole thing, and to the others, they might be very oblivious to everything happening. Now, still. So my first thought and everyone's thoughts will be, oh my god, Whiskey and Asha are fighting. Ah, when did this happen? How did this happen? Oh, oh, why? Little did we know that the story was not about Whiskey and Asha. No, it was about Asha and the timekeeper. Someone who keeps you on track. Someone who guides us to the end. Tick tock. Tick. In music terms, we call it tempo. Or should I say, tempo. Oh guys, he had a deep-rooted beef with Asha. And not just him. Guess who? Now go back to the beginning of this video. I mentioned four names. Joe Boy. And guys, I'm here to spill the whole beans. <laughs> Grab a popcorn. Now this is where the bad blood began between Joe Boy and Asha. In 2022, Joe Boy released a song called Contour. Produced by the timekeeper. Asha is now suing Joe Boy because the song that he released was a sample of a composition that she did. Listen. How? Why? Because of Tempo. Now, stay with me, stay with me. You see, the thing is that Asha and Tempo were good friends at the point. In fact, most musicians and producers look up to Asha. I mean, only both French talented black girl. Ah, combination. So one fateful day, Tempo was in the studio with Asha. Asha was creating music as usual. But then, something happened. She struck gold. Well, according to her, she made a composition. A beautiful composition. But then there was one problem. Uh, one problem. Yeah, she never used it. Time went by and by and by, and she never used the gold she struck. Note, at that time she did that. The timekeeper was in the studio with her, and you see, the timekeeper doesn't like to waste time. How typical. But then time went by until one family affairs visited the temple. That guy was. Joe Boy. Joe Boy was like, oh bro, I'm feeling unmotivated. I'm, I'm just, give me something. Give me a beat. You know? Well, you could say Tempo coincidentally created something. Something that sounded very, very familiar to Ash's composition. Put it in turn it in, and then you get 100% plagiarism. It was the same composition that Asha created. Asha wasn't happy. I mean, who will? Tempo just stole from her. He went into the studio, listened to Asha's creativity, memorized it in his head. Now went to Joe Boy and played the same thing for him. Joe Boy released this shit. Damn, that's a curve to Asha. Talk about the contour. Mm, 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 mm. Asha got her lawyers involved. Guys, wait, wait, wait. If you have any sentiments to what I am saying right now, just keep it in your mind. Just hold on, hold on. I'm not done yet. So keep what you are thinking about yourself. Wait till I'm done. But remember, there are three sides to a story. One side, the other side, and the truth. Now Joe Boy released the song Contour. Ah, a beautiful song. Wait till it turns ugly. 
Now, Joe Boy was sent a lawsuit by Ashes Management's team. Trust me, it is not a pleasant situation to anyone. Guys, uh, read it for yourself. Joe Boy saw this. And the first thing you could think about was to post it on Instagram stories with the caption, LOL. Ooh, the confidence. It, I, I like that. Hey, I like that. Now, in the lawsuit, Ashes team gave Joe Boy 24 hours to take the song down and pay for damages. Joe Boy then hilariously replied, and I quote, Cause I they always do love and like you think say I be soft media. You said I have 24 hours, it's been 48 hours. Do something. Ha! Why does he have so much confidence, you may ask? It is because Tempo told him something. And that is the same thing he told Joey Akan. Now listen. The story you initially heard me tell was Ash's version. But according to Tempo, that was not how it played out. According to Tempo, he was the one that worked on the beat. Yes, and obviously Asha is there, so Asha will be like, oh no, I like that. Yeah, play this guitar line. Like, yeah, yeah, this is nice. Okay, yeah, I like that. Yeah, keep this one. Obviously. But Tempo made the beat. But if you look at Asha's side of the story, you think Tempo is actually an attendee instead of a contributor. Which is not the case for Tempo. He said he was the main so. Well, after the beat was done, according to Tempo, Asha never paid for it. Well, later during the time that Joe Boy and Tempo were having a session, Joe Boy had the beat and then he liked it and he paid for it, which he used in his contour song. Now, that is the reason for his immense confidence. You get me? Tempo then got a little dirty. Petty. Well, justifiable uh, if it is true. I was like, hey, oh, Asha, is that how you want to play this game? Is that what we're going to Is that what we're going to do? Okay, bet. Guys, you know what? Do me a favor and pay attention to this video right here. Song where they performed that heist for, right? The beat for that song, the instrumental, bro. I made that shit in my house. You know, I take it to this person, like, yo, I think you sound amazing on this. Like, fuck with this. And she's like, all right, cool, let's do it. Then months later, you take it to somebody else. The person then makes a knockoff version of that. It's like, how am I supposed to feel about that? Like, why would I not come for you? Because it feels like wasted time, wasted, wasted effort. effort, wasted everything. And sincerely, I don't even want anything monetary really from the situation. I just want my music back. To summarize, the tempo made a beat. And he was like, mm, who fit on this song? Then he thought of Asha. He went to Asha and told her about the thing. Asha was like, oh, okay. But she didn't use it. Do you know what she did? Well, according to tempo. Instead, she went to P Prime allegedly and made him reproduce a similar beat let's just say it's basically the same thing but this time from p prime and then she used p prime's own radar <laughs> which gave us the idg featuring whiskey now tempo was pissed boy he sealed her and won and that's why the idg is not on any streaming platform anymore Wow. Well, Asha has still not won her case against Joe Boy. Yeah. And hey, hey, to be clear, to be clear, I am not on anybody's side. So I ask you guys now, who is at fault here? The only fault you have is that you have not liked and subscribed to this channel right here. Do that now. Mollo.